What's going on guys? So today we are out here at Explore USA RV Super Center in Corpus Christi, Texas. And we're gonna take a look at this absolutely gorgeous, brand new Vanley Beacon fifth wheel. Full body paint, this thing is amazing looking. I mean, it just looks really cool. And it's kind of a gloomy day outside, so you probably can't really tell from the video, but yeah, this is absolutely stunning. But this is a super cool floor plan and uh, they just got it in. Definitely worth taking a quick look at. So hang tight, be right back. All right, so let's start with the numbers on this unit. This is gonna have a gross vehicle weight rating of 18,500 pounds. It's gonna have a cargo capacity of 2,980 pounds. I love that they give you some really practical cargo capacities on these beacons. They just do a good job setting them up right. This is gonna have twin 8,000 pound axles. And it's also gonna ride on 17 and a half by 6.75 inch tires, 215.75 R 17.5s. So this is really set up correctly from a towability perspective, considering the overall weight, length, height, and width for this type of unit. I like how they're actually putting this here. So the overall length of this unit is 43 feet, six inches long. You can see it has the level up hydraulic leveling system. Nice Rotaflex pin box up front. Disclaimer, I had an opportunity to do a six month review on one of these units where they sent it to me and I got to spend six months in it. It was really, really cool. Well, not six months in it, but six months with it. And that was really, really great experience because the folks over at Van Lee turn out a pretty awesome product. Okay, let's take a look inside of this new 2021 Van Lee Beacon 41 LKB. This thing is super, super cool. All right, so one thing that I think is pretty common in the industry is that if you walk into a Van Lee Beacon, you're instantly gonna be awestruck by the overall appearance, by what they've done, the woodwork, the, the cabinetry, the furniture, just they do a phenomenal job at turning out a product that you really feel you're getting the value for whenever you, you decide to look at one because their interiors are almost second to none. I mean, I've looked at a lot of really, really custom brands out there, and I can honestly tell you that these beacons tend to stand out a little bit over them. They do just a really good job. I mean, just take a look at all the woodwork up top. Take a look at the cabinetry. I mean, it's more indicative of a high-end condo than an RV. But all that being said, uh, they don't have the price posted on this because they just got it in, but they told me that the sale price on this unit's about 160-ish thousand dollars, somewhere in the 160 range. And that's probably more than you would have paid a year ago, but the prices of RVs have all gone up, so it's not surprising. And it's not as high above what they used to be versus some other brands. Anyways, we'll kind of start in this mid-living room area and work our way back. Have the TV up here. It is, looks like it may not be on a swivel. So it is not on a swivel. You have your love seat right here. This is gonna turn into a sofa. You have your theater seating right here. And what's really cool is that all of this furniture is Franklin furniture. So it's actual residential furniture that you're getting. I think I mentioned in the video where we did the long-term evaluation on a beacon that it is by far the most comfortable furniture I've ever sat in in an RV. You have your panoramic fireplace right here your speaker system, you have a storage spot under here as well, which is really nice. All the cabinetry is nice, nice magnetic holds as well. Love these valances, they do a phenomenal job and the backing that holds the valances to the wall is pretty amazing. And I have personal knowledge of that and it's so different in terms of how it's constructed and how things are secured. Nice cabinets, again, everything has magnetic holds on them. The finish is just absolutely gorgeous. And I think they call this their white linen. Over here, USB outlets, you have a nice drink holder. All of these control panels are connected to the main spider control panel, which is kind of that smart panel that controls lighting and everything else. And these are all battery powered. So there's no wires going through these walls. Coming this way, look at the dinette real quick. So this dinette, is designed so you can take these two chairs and put them here at the end. You have your nice little ledge right there. Really nice windows and these are all insulated thermal pane windows. Again, you have to love the fit and finish and the detail that goes into these beacons. A lot of drawers. These are all soft closing drawers. 
You have your wine fridge or your small drink cooler right here as well. This is a awesome area. I mean, just the fact that you have this extra piece of countertop, considering how much countertop space you have in the kitchen already, this is super cool because you can put your coffee maker here. It's, you know, a great place if you need to put your mail or you need to do a little work on your laptop. You have a nice window right next to it. Here's your pantry. Again, more drawers below it, all soft closing drawers. You know, what is interesting is I walk through a lot of units that just arrive at RV dealership lots, and the beacons tend to have very, very few issues upon arrival. Um, I personally can attest to that with the beacon that I did the long-term evaluation on because there was really nothing that was wrong other than the fact that one of these little glass dome lights had unscrewed and fallen to the floor. Um, but considering it didn't break and all you had to do was kind of pop it back in place, it was pretty nice. Dual basin stainless steel sink. A lot of countertop space in here. Nice convection insignia microwave as well as a residential style insignia upgraded cooktop or sorry, stove oven combination. More countertop space here. Again, gotta love the cabinetry in this unit. This is absolutely amazing. This is just such a cool setup. They've done a really, really great job at really making the interior of this RV feel more like a small condo. I mean, take a look at it. It's just, if you look at how all the cabinets are positioned, the countertops, the windows, a lot of light coming in. You have that really, really nice soft touch, you know, ceiling area right here with everything trimmed off very well. I mean, this is larger than some apartments in other countries and it's trimmed off nicer than a lot of them. Nice LG French door style refrigerator. It's currently locked. I love that they put an actual locking mechanism right here as opposed to some of the you know ropes and bungee cords and things like that that you see on a lot of them. That's really nice. I also like that they put the power outlets right here. You know, having them on the wall might be a little bit more out of the way per se, but you can't move things as far back against the wall when they're there. This looks nice. Um, you know, it's it's hit or miss on if I like that actually because now you have cords sticking out right here versus cords plugged into the wall. But you know, I'd love your opinion on that. Nice cabinets up top. Let's work our way back to the front. This is probably a half bath. Indeed, it is a half bath. You got a porcelain foot flush toilet. I love the dark contrasting wall tones in here. It just makes it really look nice and luxurious. Lots of wardrobe cabinetry space in here, toiletries, towels, things like that. You have a nice sink here with a solid surface countertop and a nice porcelain insert to it. A huge medicine cabinet. You have some storage on top up there. You have your vent and it has this really nice register that covers it, which looks really good. You have your little cleaner sprayer right there as well. Toilet paper hook up here. Coming up here. More cabinetry right when you enter next to the door. Great place for shoes, things like that. Here's your spider control panel right here. This is what all of those other buttons and controls connect back to wirelessly. You can also control your slides, your leveling system. I grew to really like this system. It was really, really nice and intuitive. This is for your AquaGo Truma on-demand water heater system. Really like this. I love the settings, how you can quickly set a temperature type level or how efficient you want this to run, whether you want it to constantly be heating water or whether you want it to just heat water randomly whenever you're turning it on. Really cool system. And then your Cummins own and generator control. I do kind of wish they would have placed this up a little higher, only because if you do have kids or if you have kids over, you don't want them accidentally bumping into your generator buttons and turning it off if it's running. Placing that up a little higher probably would be a little bit better. Stepping up into the front bedroom area, king size bamboo mattress, super, super comfortable. We loved it in the unit we had. Absolutely gorgeous bed area. I mean, check that out. You have USB plugs right here on the side so you can charge your phones. The actual nightstands don't come out over the mattress, which I do really like. Super nice. I love the wainscot where you have the nice contrasting wallboard right there with the nice trim work. 
over here. Lots of drawers, lots of wardrobe space. It's just really, really nice. They do a fantastic job. Plus you get your panoramic fireplace. So this has two fireplaces or two electric fireplaces in it. More wardrobe space down here. Nice little ledge. I don't think these lift up. Yeah, on some of them they lift up, I believe, but this one they don't. You have your 110 outlet right here, plus your smart TV already mounted in place. Coming into the restroom area, you can see you get your one-piece shower system, complete with the flip-down bench on it as well. Nice adjustable arm up here. Glass-tempered doors, plus you have this nice little towel holder here. Another toilet system in place. This is a Santa Marin toilet system. Over here you have dual vanities, undermount sinks, nice porcelain sinks, nice solid surface countertop as well. Two huge medicine cabinets and a lot of lighting above. This is really nice and this is that soft touch, you know, uh, ceiling headboard that I was telling you about. Absolutely gorgeous. Tons of cabinet and countertop space in here. Stepping into the front closet, at the very front of this fifth wheel, this thing is huge. It's a full walk-in closet. I mean, I'm standing inside of this closet and actually to the back of it. This is insane how large this closet is. And this is where your connections for your washer and dryer would be. But this is just absolutely insane. This is larger than some apartments have in terms of closet space. This is probably the largest closet I've actually seen in an RV. Absolutely gorgeous. And they even trim it off with crown molding in the closet. That's cool. Okay, let's step outside of this Van Lee Beacon and see what the outside's all about. All right, so starting from the front, once again, the LCI Trail Air Rotaflex pin box. This basically rotates right here with a big rubber bushing. Helps dampen some of the chucking, some of the forward backward forces that are at play. Uh, this is probably gonna have an Onan generator in it. Not 100% sure, but... Oh, so it's prepped for an Onan generator. It has the buttons inside. It has the little insulated area here, but this specific unit does not have the generator in it. You have a little solar charger right there that you can plug in some panels to keep the batteries maintained. Again, the hydraulic level up system. Opening up your huge front storage. This is gonna ride on a drop frame and it is a 10 inch I-beam drop frame on a 12 inch main beam. So it gives you this incredibly large pass through storage underneath in the basement area. You have your true power inverter right here. It's a thousand watt pure sine wave inverter. Your road vac down here, which is kind of your central vacuum system inside. Plus everything is nice and trimmed off well. You have your three inch aluminum bath deck supports up top. And then nice thick heavy baggage doors with double slam latches. In here you're gonna have one of two 30 pound propane cans. This is where you can individually turn off or control slides for your sofa and your dinette. This is the outside of your Truma AquaGo on-demand hot water system. You have a 120 outlet over here, nice LED lighting on the side. You have your LCI solid steps as well. Nice grab handle over here with a little cushioned area, which I like. You have, it looks like two awnings on this unit. One large awning right here, and you have a second awning coming off of this slide. Again, all dual pane frameless windows. Looking underneath, this is gonna have the new Cooper Work Series medium duty tires. So these are 17 and a half inch diameter tires, at least the wheel diameter. And these are gonna be a H rated tire, I believe. Yep, these are H rated tires. Very good looking tire. It's actually a really, really good looking tire. It's gonna have the road armor suspension there in the middle. This is gonna be a rack and pinion slide here. Back here, it's also a rack and pinion slide. And there's your 12 inch I-beam frame. Up front there, you can probably see that 10 inch I-beam drop frame, which is very nice. I love that the slides are all painted as well. Look absolutely gorgeous in that high gloss black. Coming around this way. This is gonna be the back of your refrigerator so you can help winterize it. 
You got your four inch tubular bumper on the back as well as a two inch receiver. The receiver is not for towing. That receiver is for an accessory rack, something that you may want to put on the back to you know, carry equipment, things like that, bicycles, but not to tow a vehicle. Nice LED lighting across the back as well and all the way up top and a nice one piece fiberglass rear cap on it. It is prepped for a Furion wireless backup camera and does have a full walk on roof. Coming around this way. This is going to be your power cord reel, which is really nice. So you have a 50 amp cable that's in there and it simply retracts and extends all from this location. You pull it out manually and retract it in electronically. Really, really like that feature on the unit we were, we were uh, reviewing. This is just absolutely gorgeous. This is going to be your vent hood opening. You definitely want to make sure you have that popped open if you're going to be camping because that's the only way to get the air above your stove or in your kitchen ventilated out. So if you don't have that open, all you're doing is recirculating the air. Coming up here, outside of your high capacity furnace, this is going to be all your controls for your wet bay. It might be locked. Yeah, all this is locked right here, but they do a really good job because they actually have an aluminum panel in there that's all etched out with all the wording, and all of your gate valves are electric versus manual pulls. So you basically press a button to open up your gate valves. It's super, super cool. And it works really well. It does take some getting used to to kind of remember the system and, and the positions that it has to be in because instinctively it's different than using a pull handle. So you just have to be aware of that. But what do you guys think? This is an incredibly beautiful, massive fifth wheel, full profile. You know, the folks at Van Lee do a lot of things right. They were recently acquired by Thor, but just like a lot of the other Thor brands, including, you know, Airstream as well as DRV, they really allow the companies that they own to build the product that they're known for building. They don't change a lot, and I can really appreciate that. But I'd love for you to comment below on what you think of this unit. Absolutely gorgeous, Van Lee Beacon. Guys, if you haven't had a chance, please take a moment, subscribe to my channel, give me a thumbs up, and we'll talk to you again very soon.